Hi everyone, I'm Rick Beato. One of the most important things that you can do as a musician is develop your ear. It'll help you in everything. If you're a jazz musician, if you're a rock producer, if you're a classical musician, you have to have a great ear. Today's episode is called Chromatic Hybrid Solfege. We're going to learn about how to sight sing. It's coming up next. <laughs> So solfege is a method used to teach pitch or ear training and sight singing. Now there are two different types of solfege. There's fixed dough and then there's movable dough. We're going to start with fixed dough. I personally never studied solfege in college because the colleges I went to didn't teach it. There was a movement away from solfege at the time I was going to school and then it's come back into vogue in the last probably 15 years or so, 20 years, something like that. But I never learned it originally, but the concept is pretty simple. So in fixed Do, Do is always C. So we've got C is Do, D is Re, E is Mi, F is Fa, G is Sol, A is La, B is C. So Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Si, Do. That's how the scale goes in fixed Do. For chromatic notes, they work like this. C sharp is Do sharp, or D flat is Re flat. So if it's a C sharp, you use Do, and then you add the sharp to it, or D flat, you say Re flat. D sharp is Re sharp, or E flat is Mi flat. If you were to do E sharp, you'd say Mi sharp, and F flat would be Fa flat, and so on and so forth. Now, one of the problems with fixed Do that I see is that each syllable really should have its own name. That would make singing faster lines easier than saying Do sharp, because you're essentially using two words to say that, whereas you may as well just say C sharp. What I like to do is use fixed Do, but use the chromatic solfege syllables from movable Do. Next, we have movable Do. In movable Do, Do is reassigned to the tonic of the key. So I put up the key of F major here. So in this case, Do would be the note F because it's a tonic note. G is Re, A is Mi, B flat is Fa, C is Sol, D is La. Now, here's a change. E is T, okay, instead of C. In fixed Do, we use C syllable. In movable Do, we use T. So. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do. So I like to use a hybrid of fixed and movable Do, where it uses C as Do with the syllables of movable Do. So to get the syllables of the sharp pitches, you add the suffix E, which is the letter I, to the first letter of the syllable being sharped. For example, C sharp is D. So you got Do, D, Re, Re, Mi, Fa, Fi, Sol, Si, La, Li, Ti, and then back to Do. Do, D, Re, Re, Mi, Fa, Fi, Sol, Si, La, Li, Ti, Do. Okay, the syllables for flatted pitches work like this. You add the suffix A, which is actually the letter E, after the first letter of the syllable being flatted, okay? So, do, ti, te, la, le, sol, se, fa, mi, me, re, ra. Now, ra, D flat, is the only one that's different because we actually have the re right there on D, so we have to adjust that one. So, it goes like this, singing it descending. Do, ti, te, la, le, sol, se, fa, mi, me, re, ra, do. So, if we take a particular syllable, like la, La, li, la, le. So I'm going A, A sharp, A, A flat. And then go to D. Remember, D has ra. Re, 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 ra. That's how it works. You simply memorize these and practice. No, I'm just joking. There's a lot, a lot of work to do on this. The next thing to do is practice it around the circle of fists, like this. Do, sol, re. La, mi, ti, fi, ra, le, me, te, fa, do. The 
best way to practice is start on middle C at the piano or your guitar, go ascending and descending, and work on the solfege syllables, just getting them down. So you're just going to start here. Do, D, Re, Re, Mi, Fa, Fi, Sol, Si, La, Li, Ti, Do, and then descend. Do, Ti, Te, La, Le, Sol, Se, Fa, Mi, Me, Re, Ra, Do. After you've practiced that over the course of a week, you'll really start to get fluid with these solfege syllables, and then eventually, when the ear training course comes out, we'll start getting into things like modes, and you'll start with your modes. You might do C Lydian. Do, Re, Mi, Fi, Sol, La, Ti, Do, Ti, La, Sol, Fi, Mi, Re, Do. And then go to the circle of fifths. Do, Sol, Re, La, Mi, Ti, and so on and so forth. That's all for now. Please subscribe to my Everything Music YouTube channel. If you're interested in the Beato book, you can go to my website at www.rickbeato.com and find it there. Thanks for watching.